Today we are going to learn about different parts of plants. We are going to look at the roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. Roots are that part of a plant which are under the ground. The main purpose of roots is that they absorb water and minerals from the ground and they give it to the other parts of the plant. Here I have some examples of roots. I have carrots, radish and beetroot. Another important thing about roots is that they hold the plant firmly in the ground. Here I have a stem which is an important part of a plant. It holds the plant straight and the leaves grow out of the stem. The main purpose of a stem is that the water and the minerals that are absorbed by the roots are sucked up by the stem and given to the other parts of the plant. Here I have an example of potato which is a stem and ginger which is also a stem. Leaves are also a very important part of a plant. They help the plant breathe. They have small pores that let the plant breathe and they also have chlorophyll which helps the plant make food. So the food for a plant is made in the leaves. You can see here there are small veins going through the leaf. Here you can see them clearly in a lettuce. These veins are used to distribute the water and the minerals that have been absorbed by the roots then given to the stem and then the stem gives the water and the minerals to the leaves through these veins. The leaf then makes the food and then the energy, the food is transferred back from the same veins to the rest of the plant. Here you can see the veins of a cabbage leaf. These are some examples of flowers. I have here lilies, iris and a cauliflower which is a vegetable. Here we are going to learn about fruits. Fruits are that part of a plant which contain the seeds. If we cut open a fruit, we will see the seeds inside. The seeds are used for growing another plant. Here I have examples. I have pear, apple, pomegranate, orange, banana, tomato, lemon and green chilies. We recognize or identify that a thing is a fruit because of the fact it has seeds inside. These a tomato can be considered as a vegetable but it is not a vegetable. Why? Because it has seeds inside. Similarly, lady fingers and brinjal are fruits. They are not vegetables because they have seeds inside. I have cut here some fruits to observe and look at the seeds. Here you can see the seed of an apple, the tiny seeds of orange and here in a green chili also there are many seeds present. Apart from these, even nuts are seeds. Pistachio, almonds, peanuts, they are all seeds. Vegetables are different parts of plants. That's why they don't have any seeds in them. They are not like fruits. They are either roots or they are stems or they are leaves or they are flowers. But vegetables are not fruits. So there are no seeds present in them. Now I'm going to use vegetables to do an activity. I'm going to make a plant so that you can remember which vegetable is which part of a plant. Carrots are roots. Ginger is a stem and spinach are leaves. Radish are roots. Potato is a stem. Lettuce are leaves and cabbage are leaves as well. Cauliflower is a flower. 